Some may find this different, but it's that difference that makes it so good. Hey guys, so this is my review for Ouija Origins of Evil. Now, wonder you may be wondering why I went and saw this movie, considering how awful that first one was. Well, there's two reasons. The first reason is that this film is directed by Mike Flanagan, and he has proven himself to be a much more diverse horror director with films like Oculus and Hush. This guy has a good idea, and he's bringing these cool new original ideas to horror. Sure, sometimes they do dip into what were are known as horror tropes, but he's always able to give them a bit of a new twist, like a bit of a nick on them to make them different. And that's exactly what he does in this movie too. Also, the second reason is, I'm work currently working on a film being filmed out here in Maple Ridge, Langley, and New West, and it's got Lulu Wilson, the girl who's in the Ouija. So we went and saw it with her. This is me and my boss with her by the poster. I have to say, seeing a movie with the actor who's in it is a pretty awesome experience. But onto the film itself. Now this film goes slow. This film is about two sisters and their mother who run sort of a scam sort of concept where they are able they pretend to talk to people who have passed on to give loved ones closure and as well as to make money to get by so in their act they get this Ouija board and the thing that I liked first off is that the board is not the centerpiece the board is a conduit if not just a tool but otherwise the movie is about these three people and the interactions they have with each other as well as the presence and that's another thing too is the presence the thing that is the host or the consumer the bad thing in this film is very original it was different it was very cool and just the means of how the possession is passed on the powers the horror moments all of them were actually quite different and another thing too that this film did not use a lot was jump scares jump scare music just quiet and silence can be horrifying if done correctly it can be deafening to you and that's what this movie did well and the other thing too is even though it's produced by Michael Bay I swear to you it's probably the slowest Michael Bay film in, of all time because this is a character drama and we don't really get that many whoop moments until near so the end but even then it doesn't really go for the scares it more so goes for the psychological uh, twisting and the intro just an in-depth look into the idea of dealing with loss and the dealing of trying to move on from a loved one who has passed on and the movie ends a lot different than you would expect too in the end everything was pretty good the production design was good the characters were very well acted Lulu Wilson was awesome and and she has this one monologue about how it feels to be strangled to death and that was just chilling The film is slow, I will give it that. It does take a while for it to pick up, but then eventually you kind of just, you're just drawn into it. You're into these characters, and that's something that horror doesn't really try anymore. So it tries to make you care more about the characters than about the scares. And while that may not be appealing to some people, I thought it was good. I liked how it had an original sort of idea to it. It took a absolutely terrible first film, climbed up that mountain of garbage, and placed itself on top as a very good, entertaining, and very well-crafted film. I'm gonna give Ouija The Origins of Evil a 5 out of 7. I enjoyed it. I don't know if I would enjoy it at all, or nearly as much a second time, because it is, like I said, it is a slow burn, but it is still a very entertaining movie, and you should see it. It's different. I like that it's different. I really have to see Oculus, because this is one. that's one movie that this guy made that everyone talks about. Anyway guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.